the question could then be asked, well, why? Why do you open air preach? I, I've heard the definition of what the gospel is and the definition of open air preaching. But, but now the question, give me the reasons. Why do you open air preach? Why are you here? Why do you go out? Why do you want to go to the public venue and preach the gospel? Why do you go to the highways and the byways and compel people to come in? Why do you do that? And to answer this question very briefly, I want to give a handful of reasons that I think are, are important reasons and important motivations to open air preach. And the first, and I think the foremost, and the ultimate reason is to glorify God, to glorify God. Open air preaching is not about glorifying man. It's not about having a bunch of followers or having a bunch of viewers on a YouTube page. Open air preaching is to glorify God in the proclamation of his beloved son. It is to glorify God in following what he said in Matthew chapter 22, that we are to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind. This is the great and foremost commandment in the the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. By no means the only way you glorify God is open air preaching. Not at all. That's not what we're saying. But the ultimate motivation of an open air preacher is, and it must be, to glorify God and to exalt his great name. A second reason why we open air preach and why we support open air preaching is to save rebels and to save sinners, to save those who are lost. I think of the language of the book of Jude. In Jude verse 22, we are to have mercy on some who are doubting. We are to save others, snatching them out of the fire. And on some have mercy with fear, hating even the garments polluted by the flesh. There are those living in the world who do not know the true gospel. They don't understand the true God as he has revealed himself in the Bible. They don't understand their predicament. They don't understand what Jesus has done as he has come into this world in human flesh uh, to live a righteous life and die in the place of guilty sinners and provide all that is needed for them to be reconciled to God. So we open air preach to glorify God, to save rebels. Number three, we open air preach to instruct Christians. I'm reminded of many times on the streets, there might be a Christian who walks by or a, a man or a woman or a young person who walks by and they say, you know, I've, I've been walking by for many weeks or even years and I've heard what you've been saying and I've taken my lunch hour and I've been coming and I've been, I've been sitting under this and I've been, I've been hearing you preach each week. Little did I know that they were doing that. And yet they are being taught the word of God as I preach the gospel, as I'm summoning people and passers-by to come to Christ. Even there are Christians who are taught. Even there are Christians who are instructed in the truths of the gospel. I think another reason why we open air preach is also to encourage the saints. I think one of the greatest ways that a church uh, can engage in evangelism is just to go out together, to go out together and encourage one another as believers, as followers of Christ, and share the gospel together and proclaim the glories of Christ together as a team. And I think there is great encouragement that can come in the evangelizing together as a gathering of believers. We open air preach to glorify God, to save rebels, to instruct Christians, to encourage saints, and even to obey Christ. Jesus said to his followers, go out and compel them to come in. Go to the highways. Go to the hedges. Exalt the glories of Christ. You are to go and, and compel them and to woo them and to bring them to the Savior. We follow the example of the prophets of old. We follow the example of our Savior himself. We follow the example of many in church history. And we want to obey and honor our Christ in going after the lost and being fishers of men. Why do we open air preach? We open air preach because we love people. Maybe sixth and finally, here's the next reason we open air preach, because we love people. The open air preacher is 
not biblically, he's not a mean, angry, mad person who's on a rant in the public square. That's not at all what a street preacher is. An open-air preacher is someone with a broken heart because like his Savior, he sees the crowds like sheep without a shepherd. And they need Christ, and they need the gospel, and they must repent, and they must turn to Jesus Christ. And if they don't, they are going to be lost forever, and they're going to perish in their sin. And the open-air preacher loves God, and he loves his neighbor. And there are many people who walk by in the public square who might never step foot inside this church gathering or inside your church gathering. Or they might not gather in a place where they're going to hear the biblical gospel. And so out of great love and concern and compassion for them, we go to them and we chase after them and we pursue them just like a fisherman goes after the fish. He pursues the fish. He goes to where the fish are. That's what a fisher of souls does as well. Why do we open air preach? Luke 14 verse 23, we compel all men to come, to come to Christ so that God's feast, his house, his banquet may be filled. Oh, we have good news to share. We have good news to proclaim, and it's not some program. It's not a self-help formula. It's not politics. It's the person of the Lord Jesus Christ and the work that he has accomplished at Calvary, providing a full atonement for sinners. What could be better? What could be more important? What could be more necessary than to go to the lost? and to proclaim this gospel to them. We believe that open-air preaching is valid for many reasons, but one of which we love God, we love our neighbor, we want to save rebels, we want to instruct Christians, we want to encourage saints, we want to obey our Christ, and we want the lost to know the great news of Jesus Christ.